Okay, introduce yourself, uh, my good friend here. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Herman. Herman, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, we only require the first name. <laughs> yeah. But you spell it differently, I know that. Well, it's spelled like German, so... Oh, but you're not German, right? No. no, no. Okay, what, uh, what's Hedemann. your back? <laughs> Spanish. Spanish, okay. From what country, your family? My family is from Mexico. Mexico, okay. Yeah. So, um, um, at home, do you eat, like, Mexican food mostly, American food, or everything? Uh, mostly Mexican, yeah. My mom's Mexican, so she'll cook up Mexican food. Okay. So, I mean, when I cook, I make a little bit of everything. I love Japanese food the most, so I try to learn some of the uh, Asian skills. Really? Can yeah. you make sushi? Yeah. Yeah? I learned to make sushi, actually, from YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. So someday you may open a restaurant and, uh, you know, that would be nice. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. You look like I a chef, you know. <laughs> restaurant. Restaurant. Uh, I think restaurant. Yeah. Owning a restaurant is really challenging. That's great. But it's really, I'm sure, rewarding because when I make food, I think that's the best thing. Like, when you can cook for someone, you really do yes. take the time and put the love into it. Then uh -huh. it really reflects on what you... What? Right. And what you make, you know. That's good. It's just like... Uh, um, you know, uh, writing a story or any profession, right? It's like oh, yeah, uh, when it's authentic, you can, uh, people can taste it. That's wonderful. And um, and I, I know that you're a very spiritual person from my interaction with you. What is your faith? What do you practice? I'm Catholic. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and you told me you've been away from the church for a while and then came back. Yeah, um, I think um, when started to discern it more and more as my faith journey goes on, uh -huh. realizing that like when I left my faith, I think it was partly when my dad passed away, oh. and I was about, I was already in college, but wasn't really practicing, but before he, like I would still go to church, but not necessarily really know what it meant, and, and then, but after I went to college, my faith kind of fell away, and then uh -huh. after college, I went into straight into career mode, and then, oh, right. a lot of young so, people you know? do that, yeah, so it was about 12 years, mm -hmm. You were, we were you were in the wilderness. Cat. You were in the wilderness exploring. <laughs> yeah, I would say like that. So yeah. how old are you now? Thirty-two. Oh, okay. So that would be like when you're in your twenty-two, something like that. Most most of your twenty, you were exploring, right? Okay. Most, yeah, all of my twenties. Oh, yeah, and what other religion have you strayed into? Like uh, no, no, I just was falling away from it. Like, so you always been a Catholic? I, just, you know. I didn't. I wasn't practicing. I, uh, I still believe in God during that time, right. but I never. I didn't associate myself with oh, that organized, organized religion at, at, at that point. And you told me you went to one Protestant church? <laughs> just for I went your to, friend took you there? I don't know if, if it was Protestant. It was more than just a Christian. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, well, if yeah. anything is not Catholic, it's Protestant. By legal definition. <laughs> oh, okay. Even Mormons, they always reading the same thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, so, but but there's only one time, right? And uh, but you were just uh, following your friends. That, that happens. A lot of people do that, you know. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, I just went more for, yeah, to hang out with my friends. It wasn't like I was there for the whole service. Right. In, in unity, we call it spiritual exploration. It's necessary for many people. To, to find your true calling, you know, and mm. and and I'm glad you found it and you come back to your mother church. <laughs> Amen to that. Yeah. Yes, indeed. To the glory of God for yeah. sure. And uh, and uh, the um, uh, but what particular thing or incident make you want to come back? I mean, what was any specific things or just a general uh, something? I think that carrying so much sin in my life or. My perception. I think uh, I carried it for a long time, and then you know, all bottled up at a time when I was in a relationship, and I chose to be unfaithful. And, and, oh. and then when I, I think when I made the choice to be to to do approach things differently and be a genuine, authentic person, that's when I felt okay. um, the grips of like I would say Satan and all the e and sin become unchained, and I was able to somewhat realize what life was really about, okay. even though we're kind of just made to like, um, somewhat like be fed alive for a long period of time, <clears throat> whether it be in shame through the mistakes we make, uh -huh. and then, and or just the world itself that blinds you to what real authentic life is. So a lot of times people carry that much weight and that much that much uh, I would say shame that, that not so much 
makes you kind of go away from yourself and being who you really are. Uh -huh. And then when you realize it, the world's kind of been telling you that the whole time. Uh -huh. And now, let me ask you, when you say you were... You mentioned the word relationship. You meant your relationship with God or you had an earthly no, I relationship? Girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. I was in a relationship. Um, I was unfaithful and I chose to tell her. Um, oh, you were the one that broke yeah. the relationship. Okay. And uh, so, when I made that choice, it was a separate choice than I could have ever, like, that I would have made any other time. Other times, I would feel like the world would kind of guide you to be, or guided me to be like, well, just kind of wash away those kind of things, like, mask it in, in what the world can offer you for right, now, right. you know? Right, right, right. And you think that's like the only solution sometimes. So would you say that uh, broke uh, that broken up relationship had a lot to do with you searching for God again in a genuine way? Um, yeah, 100%, because... I had everything I ever dreamt of as a kid, uh -huh. and then I saw my life, seeing seeing my life and being like, well, um, why do I have everything and still not Don't happy? feel happy, yeah. <laughs> right. Why am I destroying things that are good in my life? Right, exactly. A lot of people and, have that experience. And it's a, more of a reflection of yourself. Um, you know, it's almost like, I look at it now, like if you're, if your life's hectic in the mess, your room probably reflects that. And Your room. You know, <laughs> okay. Right? I must be in big trouble then. I would, I would think so, right? So, when you're... Sh you're more at peace, yeah. your, your life reflects, you reflect that, you know, and, I, right. and a lot of the times I think that's, that's what kind of happens to us. Like, okay. Um, you, you, you're referring choices. to how messy the room is, right? You're talking yeah, about, I mean, yeah. Kind of yeah. like I found it now, you're spiritually, <laughs> that's how you, your temple is, you know, oh, like okay. who you are as a person. Mm. You reflect um, your insecurities, your anger, your, your sins, right. and, and that's what it is, and that's what you see. But you forget that once you clean, cleanse the interior, then you reflect right, right. what it was. Are you interior. are you talking figuratively or actually literally? The room is your room right now is neater than it was before. <laughs> your bedroom or whatever room you were in. Uh, it has less stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you so it reflect your outer room, reflect your inner room. You're saying that, right? Basically. I think. Yeah. I mean, it's a metaphor in a sense, but of course it. it it comes, it can apply figuratively, like yeah. literally, you know? Like, right, 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 right. When you're more at peace, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming you can, you can covet less and more things, you can, you can <laughs> yes, enjoy yes. life. Oh, covetness, that's a very good subject. But, um, oh, hold on a minute.